Welcome to Utah History with Mr. Swanabelt. Hello there. I'm Mr. Swanabelt, and I'm going to be your history teacher this year. I've taught quite a few of you already, and some of you I haven't taught. So in this video, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about who I am and why I teach history and a little bit about who I think you are. I'll start with my name. It's pronounced Swanavelt, and so I put the swan here to help you remember how to say it right. I don't see myself as a teacher. I'd rather call myself a learning coach. I help inspire young people to strive to be the best version of themselves through learning history. That's why I'm here. When I was in college, I wanted to be a businessman and make lots of money. Then I found out that I was a horrible businessman. Then I decided I'd become an advertiser and make commercials and social media campaigns for big companies. At least to say I was pretty good at it, but I didn't like it. Then I thought for sure I'd become a psychologist and help people overcome massive problems in their lives, but it just didn't feel right for me. I had to stop thinking about money and think about what I loved. When I was in college, I had a teaching job and I absolutely loved it. Why did I love it? Because I could help people become a better version of themselves. So I signed up for classes to become a teacher. People often ask me why I teach history. I wish I could say that it's been a lifelong passion of mine, but I'd be lying. When I was growing up, all I wanted to do was be rich and famous. I didn't love school and I didn't think it was very important. In seventh grade, I wanted to be on Broadway and star in musicals. But then I remembered I was actually afraid of big groups of people, so that never happened. I was also pretty obsessed with becoming a basketball star, and I always thought I'd make the NBA. I practiced for hours on end, but I didn't make the ninth grade basketball team. I heard, however, that Michael Jordan was cut from his high school team, so I still had hope. That is until I missed my 10th grade basketball tryouts due to anxiety. I struggled with anxiety and depression for a long time and held my feelings in about not being good enough. Around my senior year of high school, I was assigned by my church to help special needs people. I gradually started to love working with these amazing people and they inspired me to be a better person. They helped me understand what I was good at, loving and serving others. I decided to teach history because history teaches us a lot about who we are and where we come from. It teaches us why our lives are the way they are. In fact, it teaches about the power of one person to make a difference. History teaches that even if you believe you are insignificant, you are believing a lie. It teaches that you don't have to change the whole world to have an impact. You can simply just change the world around you. And sometimes others catch on. What seems like small actions actually have a big effect on everything around us. If I could go back to my teenage self, I teach myself a lot of things like how to save money for the future, uh, how not to be afraid of people, Maybe that BYU and Utah Jazz games shouldn't affect my attitude towards life, or that I actually do like sushi if I would just try it. But most importantly, I would teach myself that it's not so much about what you do or what people might label you as. Life is about who you're becoming. Spend 990 hours here at school. That's 180 days, and that can be exhausting. My hope is that when you're in my classroom, that it's not. If you're focused on becoming someone versus just doing the things that you're asked, you're gonna have a good time. In history, we're going to talk about some of the greatest people who have ever lived on this earth and what they did to make such a great change in the world. I hope that you'll be inspired by these people. Not too far from now, this country will depend on you to be one of those great people who makes a difference for you to make history. I hope 
that what you learn here will change your life. That's going to be up to you. So come ready to learn. And again, I will see you soon.